When we left you last, we'd just arrived in the Santa Fe area, and we spent some time warming our bones, and then set off to explore the iconic Santa Fe Plaza. The colorful art and unique architecture was like nothing we'd seen in person before. Pretty sweet rig. We normally try to avoid touristy cities, but the history dating back many hundreds of years was quite interesting. And of course, we had to try a local Mexican restaurant. Well, this will be our last time camping in the snow. At least I'm about 99% sure of that. Got preheater on. Ready to rock. The next stop on our journey was to check out the Bandelier National Monument. The canyon had many homes carved into the soft rock face, oftentimes utilizing the cavities that were naturally formed. Okay, let me show you around inside here. One room. Second room. Main room. With fireplace. One petroglyph looked totally like a T-Rex. The volunteer who was out for a stroll on her break informed us that it was a macaw. I said it looks more like a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They said no, no, that's it. But if they must have done trade oh, with Southern Mexico, Central America. the half mile to the base of Alcove House. This ceremonial site is accessed by a series of ladders and stairs and the sign warned that it was not for those with a fear of heights. But I didn't come this far to not see things so up we went. The view from up there was spectacular with the snow frosting the adjacent ridge and we were told this area rarely gets snow. From there we pushed south again to see what all the fuss was about in Roswell. We asked a few of these green guys, but they weren't very talkative. Then, at the recommendation of our Instagram follower Alex, we set out to Mescalaro Sands, a public lands off-road recreation area that allows for overnight camping. Lincoln finally got a chance to stretch his legs and we all got a healthy dose of sand in crevices we didn't know we had. I wanted to see how this 13,000 pound truck would float on the soft stuff, so we tried to climb some dunes, 
but without airing down our tires, it was no bueno. <laughs> And since Beastie couldn't get up, I tried to go down. But neither my cardboard sled nor the tarp was slippery enough. From there we pointed the truck south once again and headed for Carlsbad Caverns. We were quite surprised to meet up with another big overland truck in the parking lot, and we shared some stories. This one is the only one that we are allowed to touch. So, gotta, gotta touch it. There's where we're going. As we headed down into the mouth of the caverns, I was surprised to see a wide paved trail which made it very easy to walk. Once we were at the bottom, we realized we didn't have the best lens for our camera, so we took the easy way out, riding the elevator up, and then back down. What were your thoughts? By far one of the coolest natural formation things I've ever seen. Yeah, agreed. You know, glaciers are, you can understand a glacier, but this just blows my mind. And it's just room after room after room. If a picture is worth a thousand words, these videos are worth about four. Not one moment of this video conveys the enormous caverns, beautiful colors, and unique formations. Everything was very tastefully lit, easy to see and navigate, but the little lights did make it very difficult for our limited camera equipment to capture what we were seeing. Our fastest lens was too tight, and our widest lens was too slow. No pictures we've seen online or in promotional material could prepare us for what we saw down there. There was so much diversity that it stayed interesting the whole time. <laughs> so remember what I said that we're all done with cold weather camping? False. False. <laughs> uh, pretty cold this morning. All right, we are off to White Sands. <laughs> Check out this awesome bowler. We used to have one of these. From there we headed west to White Sands National Monument. The sands are almost snow white from the high concentrations of gypsum and it looks eerily like our snowy homeland that we just escaped. And after snagging a sled from this young girl, I finally succeeded in sledding down a sand dune.
From here we're heading west into Arizona. If you know anything in the Tucson or Phoenix area that we need to see, comment below or hit us up on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. We'll see you next time. Bye!